Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought this week I wanted to do a what I wore in a week video. I haven't done one of these in I don't know how long. Basically I've been on maternity leave, as many of you guys know I'm still on maternity leave for some time. And I've just spent a lot of time at home, we've been through lockdown as well, so I've been wearing a lot of stretchy jeans and a basic jumper. Also been wearing my loungewear some days, but this week the weather is gonna really start warming up. It's gonna be spring for real, almost summery in Denmark. So I can really start wearing some of my spring staples this week and I thought I just wanted to pick you guys up and also challenge myself to actually wear some of these outfits. Today it's Saturday and I am running out the door. I'm gonna go meet a friend for a cup of coffee. I have a couple of errands to run downtown as well. It's gonna be around 16 degrees today, I think. And if you can hear something in the background, it's just Morten and Emilia. They're in the, um, like in the dining area. Emilia's just getting a little pre-lunch snack at the moment. White jeans is not something I wear a lot these days because obviously with baby, it's really impractical. But when I'm leaving the house, I do tend to wear them. Um, and then when I get home, I either just have to be really careful or just like switch into a pair of blue jeans or something else that's a bit more practical. These are a pair of straight leg jeans or I think they're called regular crop jeans from Arcad and then I just cut off the hemline there myself. Wearing that with my Castagne um, Carina espadrilles. These are the ones with the slightly lower heels. So these are only six, six centimeter um, these are the ones with the slightly lower heel, so they're only six centimeters high, which is really like manageable, super comfortable for me. Then I'm wearing this lovely secondhand blazer with the whole thing as well. I think that ties in lovely with the colors here and very spring appropriate. Um, then underneath I am wearing a long sleeve top. This is actually from Organic Basics and it's part of their workout range. So really it's in this like workout um, recycled polyester material, but it's the only long sleeved tee I have in black. So you guys know that I've been wearing that gray knitted jumper from navy gray non-stop ever since I got it. I'm actually toying with the idea of getting that in either navy or black because I've been wearing it so much. Um, then I'm wearing my vintage Chanel bag and um, put my hair up in this half updo. This is my I'm growing out my fringe kind of hairstyle. I'm tempted to say we all knew that was gonna happen, um, growing out the fringe. Got it back in December, I've been loving it, but I just don't feel like myself with that hair. I just put in a lot of like dry shampoo because obviously there's still some bits here that are not long enough to go all the way back. So jewelry wise, let me just flip you guys around. I am wearing my latest jewelry designs. This is all my own pieces. Um, this is a, this is actually a stud. So the middle one here is a stud and then there's like these three hoops in one. You don't have to faff around with three single hoops. You just stick them in and then you're good to go. Then I have these small moon child studs here as well, which I love. I think they're so cute. And then up here I'm wearing the Stardust Crawler. So this is a stud that you can also wear obviously down here and it just looks again like it's three separate pieces, but really it's just one piece. Then I'm wearing the really simple bar necklace. This is from the Bonds collection. Just wanted to keep it really simple there. Let the ears do the talking. Starling ring that you guys have seen 100 times before. Excuse the mess in the background there. That's Emilia's old baby bed that we've just pulled apart and that we need to put in the attic. That is today's outfit and I will see you guys tomorrow for another one. Good morning guys. So it's another day, another outfit. Um, it's currently 10 minutes to 9, so still a bit early in the morning. Today I am doing some work. So Morten and Emilia is gonna have some daughter and father time, just the two of them, while I get to do some work. Obviously it's getting harder for me to actually work because she is sleeping less through the day. Um, it was easier when she was younger because all she was doing is like eating and sleeping but now she's um, a lot more um, active and we have a lot of playtime and a lot of activities that we 
go to during the weekdays. Um, so yeah, obviously there's not a lot of time for work, um, but that's totally fine. It just means that I have to plan a little bit differently. So today's Sunday and I'm gonna do some work and um, then that's it. Outfit of the day. It's actually really foggy outside right now, but it's supposed to clear up at some point and be really nice and sunny and warm like it was yesterday. So proper spring almost feel very summery. Let's start from the top since we're already up in this area. I've got my Ray-Ban rounds on. Um, I'm actually not leaving the house right now. I just wanted to show you how, how I would style this outfit if we are to go out later, probably just for a walk with the stroller or... So Ray-Ban rounds, I bought these secondhand off a Westier Collective. Love them, um, really love that gold frame. I'll just wait with the jewelry. I'll show them as the last thing. But then I have this shirt on. This is a um, old shirt that I actually got from Modern that he wasn't wearing anymore. And I just love a fit of a men's shirt. So just really basic, rolled up the sleeves. And then I have tucked that into my good old black uh, Dr. Denim jeans that I've had for I think around five years with the frayed edges there. Just actually gave them a color refresh with one of the, those like at home dyes that you can just pop into the washing machine. So I dyed, re dyed these together with a pair of black skinny jeans from Armed Angels. And yeah, they look brand new. I'm really, really happy about the result. And these are like my favorite pair of black jeans. I've worn these so much the past five years. So really happy that. They are as good as new now. Then on my feet, I've got a pair of sandals. You might have seen these in my um, spring capsule video. I'll link it right here on the screen for you in case you have missed that. But these are from a Danish brand called Billy B. Really, really elegant and chic. I think I find it a little bit hard and tricky to find um, ethically made sandals that I also really like, but these are just Perfect. On my nails, I've just painted them last night. So this is um, OPI Cajun Shrimp. This is my favorite red color. I've sworn by that red color for years. And then my bag of choice is this lovely Balenciaga city bag that I recently purchased. This is secondhand and I got it through a collaboration with Designer Exchange. You might have seen it over on my Instagram. So just a small disclaimer, I did receive a discount code for this bag, but I bought it with my own money. So just a small disclaimer there, but look how amazing it is. Um, I just love the gold hardware and it's in such great condition. I have been wanting this bag for years. And yeah, that gold hardware just fits my golden jewelry and the gold frames and everything. This is actually also a newer watch. This is the North Green. Um, Philosopher watch. Let me just show you this way instead. In the with the five link um, strap there. Um, let me just pan you around and show you my jewelry for today. Got the same Moonchild studs in here as I had yesterday. Basic hoops, and then this is a new design as well. These are the Falling Star earrings, and um, these are actually pretty cool. I've got them in the other ear worn in a different way as well, I'll just show you in a minute. But the cool thing about these is that you can wear them separate, you know, several different ways. So this is one way of wearing it. On this ear, you can see another way of wearing it. Basic with the stud up there and then the star droplet. You can also take the droplet completely off if you just want to wear it as a simple stud. That's the special thing about these specific earrings. I um, really, really love the versatility of that and I love the fact that you can wear them three different ways, but it's really just one piece. So for necklaces today, I'm wearing the long link chain here as a top chain, which you can also just adjust in the length. You can make it tighter or looser. And then I'm wearing a curb chain with the meadow pendant there as well, actually with the chain extension piece. So it's actually a shorter chain, but I've just put in the extension piece so that it's slightly longer. So yeah, that is today's outfit. Really basic, very spring appropriate. I've been dying to wear these sandals and it's nice that the weather is finally warm enough to be able to wear them. Um, so I'll probably go change into a pair of slippers now because like I just said, I am just gonna be working, but this is how I'm gonna be styling it for heading out. Good morning guys, it's now Monday, Monday morning, currently 9.15 and I've got a 
bit of a busy day in front of me. I've got my mother's group incoming in like 15 minutes. Um, I just put Emilia down for her morning nap, so that's perfect timing that she's gonna be all full of energy for baby playtime very soon. Um, so they're gonna come here to get a cup of coffee and just catch up and have some, again, baby playtime, which is gonna be nice. And then at 10 o'clock, I have got a painter coming in to finally start fixing up our hallway. This hallway right here. It's going to be amazing to finally have that done because we've been living with that for, I think, one and a half years now. Um, and I will probably make a vlog at some point to show you some before and after snippets and also show you the final result and everything. Really excited about that. Later today at four o'clock, I have an appointment with my coach who I have been seeing for, I think, a month now. Mainly we're talking about work, um, just how I can like develop my business and gain more self-confidence and like keep up my um, motivation basically, um, which it's been amazing. Like it's the best money that I have spent in a, in a long time on my business. So really excited to have finally started seeing a coach. But obviously we're also talking like personal stuff and like, again, gaining more self-confidence, which is something, you know, sometimes you do have to check in with yourself, especially when you're doing something like I do. Anyway, this is not a vlog, it is a week in outfits, so let me show you what I'm wearing for a day full of activities. This is another one of my go-to, I'm trying to grow out my fringe kind of hairdos. I bought this headband at my um, hairdressers, and then I'm wearing this linen shirt from Power of My People, which I've had for a couple of years. You guys have probably seen it a hundred times. Love this shirt. As I said, it's linen, so it's super airy and flowy and perfect for a sunny and hot day, which it is today. Then I'm wearing a pair of basic black skinny jeans. These are also a couple of years old from Armed Angels. Love these. And um, yeah, I just wanted to keep it comfy and casual for a day with playtime and different sorts of activities. Um, let me just pop on a pair of shoes and a coat and then show you the full look. Okay, so here's the full look with the coat and then my vintage bag. This is the trench coat from Everlane that I've had for years now. Still absolutely love that. I've worn that lots this spring, especially because the weather has just been so bad. It's been raining nonstop. So whenever I've not been wearing my raincoat, I've been wearing this. Um, really love the beige together with this light blue color, just lovely. And then I'm wearing my Veya trainers. Um, probably won't be needing the coat all throughout the day because I think this afternoon it's going to be around 20 degrees. So might even have to switch into a pair of sandals or something. Um, but yeah, I really like this look. Again, just super comfortable, casual. So that's it for today's outfit. I will see you guys again tomorrow for hopefully another beautiful sunny day and another spring outfit. Morning guys, it's now Tuesday morning, only 7.30. And um, I haven't even washed my face. I've not put on any makeup at all. I've just flipped it back with that same hairband that I wore yesterday and just in a low bun. Um, and then just quickly put on some clothes because on Tuesdays, Emilia and I are taking baby swim classes at the moment. I realize that it might seem like we're doing a lot of things all of the time. Um, and currently we actually are only for, you know, an hour or so during the morning, um, not the entire day. So we just have some activities, you know, a little activity um, throughout, throughout most of the weekdays from Monday to Thursday at the moment. And it's because of COVID, all the things we had planned earlier on this year got cancelled and delayed. And so now it's all happening right before the summer holidays. But it's okay. Like I said yesterday, she's much more active now and we have a lot more playtime. We have a lot more fun and she she really enjoys when we do something. So it's, it's actually really nice that now that she's almost eight months, we actually get to do some fun things together. So... Heading off to a baby swim class very soon with some of the other girls from my mother's group. I am wearing my secondhand leather Converse sneakers. These have been a solid fave, both throughout winter, but also during spring. I love these. And Emilia's just having a good time playing right now with her teddies. Um, yeah, then I'm wearing a pair of straight leg jeans from Organic Basics, absolutely love these jeans. Then I'm wearing a basic white t-shirt. This one is actually from Arkit. It's one that I bought recently. Pelisha Coco biker jacket in recycled leather. 
with all of these cool details here. You've seen it before. I love the contrast stitching, um, the thick leather, red lining, and yeah, again, it's probably a bit warm. I think it's gonna be around 20 degrees today, but because it's still super early, it's quite, oh, we have a fly. That's annoying. Um, because it's still super early, it's quite chilly outside. So I think this is gonna be all right, just gonna put on a pair of sunglasses and then we will get going very soon. Morning guys, it's now Wednesday. Wednesday morning, super early, but I wanted to share my outfit with you before the painter gets back here. They're still working on the hallway. Um, I think they'll be done by the end of this week, which is very exciting. So, checking in to show you today's outfit, let's start with the hair. I've just clipped it back in this, yeah, I guess it's like a crocodile clip one of my go-to hairstyles at the moment. And then I've just put in a bit of dry shampoo to um, get that fringe back down behind my ears, which works pretty well. So I'm wearing a new blazer that I just got in the mail yesterday. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen like the story about this blazer. Um, and basically it's um, a replacement for that light blue Ganny blazer that I had that I also bought secondhand um, that I bought last year. Ended up selling that on West Air Collective recently because as much as I loved that blazer, the fit, the color, everything, it was spot on. I just, you know, couldn't deal with that sort of warm, fussy kind of fabric. It was made in like this, almost like a fleecy wool. And, um, you know, with the weather we have in Denmark this time of year, it just wasn't working for me. It was way too hot. And, you know, this time of year is that time where I tend to wear blazer, jeans and t-shirts the most. Like I would just head out in this kind of outfit without any jacket or anything like that on top. Um, but that blazer was almost like a coat. And some people might argue like, why wouldn't you just like save it then for autumn and winter? But for me, like this color is so summer, spring and summer. Ended up selling it, learned from my mistake to stay away from that really like fleecy kind of wool this time of year when it comes to blazers anyway. And then I found this amazing substitute. This is also secondhand. It's from Theory. It's in a lovely, lovely quality. This is actually also wool, but it's a really lightweight kind of wool. So it's very breathable. And another thing that I really like about this blazer is that the lining is not made in polyester. It's actually made in cupro, which means that I won't get sweaty armpits in this place. It's actually quite suitable for this time of year. Super breathable. My armpits will be able to breathe in this place. And um, yeah, if I do say so myself, I really think that this color suits me, complements my blue eyes perfectly. So yeah, this turned out to be a perfect substitute for that other blazer and a lesson learned, definitely. So um, yeah, so blazer, secondhand from Theory, bought it on West Year Collective, wearing the same t-shirt as I wore yesterday. And then I'm wearing my vintage uh, Levi's jeans from Redone. This is the stovepipe fit, in case anyone is wondering. Then I'm wearing my Billy B sandals. Absolutely love these sandals, another great purchase. And I just feel like they make any outfit instantly more chic. Like this is the most chic type of sandal I've ever had, I think. Secondhand Balenciaga city bag. And then that's it for today's outfit. Really, really spring appropriate. And I just love these colors. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier this week, but I love the combination of light blue and beige. I think that looks very nice. So in my left ear, I just wanted to keep it, have some fluff there. I just wanted to keep it very simple. So I'm wearing the basic hoops, moonshell studs, and then the shooting star stud up here. And then in the right ear, I'm wearing this new amazing stardust um, ear cuff up here just this is one of my favorite pieces from the collection I think it looks so badass <laughs> Uh, and then the same down here, basic hoops and moon child studs. For necklaces, I've layered some different necklaces on top of each other here. So I'm wearing that same necklace with the meadow pendant here. This is a necklace from the Bonds collection. And then this one is from the Heirloom collection. So just layered some different necklaces from the different collections on top of each other. Quite like that layered look. On this hand, I've got two signet rings today. This one with the S letter on it is from Stillnest, and then this one is um, the Sunrise Signet ring from my own collection. So here's the full outfit for today. Um, today I am just working 
basically from home, Morten is home today, so Emilie and him is gonna have some, again, some father and daughter time, and I'm just gonna work for a few hours and, you know, reply to a few emails. I might even start prepping my summer capsule wardrobe, which I'm hoping I'll be able to share with you during June. So yeah, that is the plans for today, just working from home. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow with another outfit. Morning guys, it's now Friday morning and I'm just checking in to show you the final outfit of this week. Got my morning coffee, it's currently 9.30 um, and I just put Emilia down for her morning nap. So I skipped the day yesterday and it was because Emilia was actually poorly all throughout yesterday. Um, it started already the day before and it's because she's got some teeth coming through at the moment and I'm sure if there are any like mamas or just parents out there in general you'll know exactly what that means. Um, so she actually had a fever yesterday, she was just really poorly slept throughout most of the day. We napped together basically <laughs> all through the day. Sorry I keep looking out the window, I'm just looking um, to see if the painter is coming. I think they're gonna come any minute now to give the hallway the last coat of paint before they're done. But yeah, she was poorly all day yesterday and I was just basically wearing loungewear, glasses, nothing fancy all through the day. So I thought I just wanted to skip that day, just be with my little girl, nap, and just snuggle up with her. She's doing much better today though, so that's good. So she's currently sleeping. I'm having my morning coffee. Mm, let me just put it down for a second. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses that I bought secondhand on West Air Collective a couple of years ago. Wearing those same two necklaces that I wore, I think, Wednesday, um, just without the long one. Really love this layered look, especially with these shorter chains. I really think that looks cool. Then I'm wearing this racer back top in this ripped quality from Weekday. This is actually in organic cotton. And yeah, I really love this one. I have it in black as well. And uh, currently just wearing it with a normal like rose colored bra underneath. You know, if I were to wear this on its own, I would definitely wear a bralette without any straps. Um, just because I always get a lot of questions on what to wear with tops like these or camisoles or anything like that, I would just wear a strapless top or even go braless. I can't do that with this top though because it's kind of see-through, but with the black version, I would totally just go braless. Um, then I'm wearing a vintage Levi's denim jacket, bought this off ASOS Marketplace, I think. Um, then I'm wearing my midi skirt from Armed Angels with this lovely dotted print. Not available anymore, I'm afraid, but I will link some alternatives down below. They have it in other colors though, um, and it's a really lovely tencel skirt, super lightweight, perfect for those warm summer days. Balenciaga city bag that I got secondhand from Designer Exchange and then these super old sneakers from, oops, can't stand on one leg, um, super old sneakers from and other stories that I've had for I think five or six years. Um, regarding the shoes, I actually posted a story the other day asking you guys for tips on how to stop leather shoes from squeaking. And as you can hear, no more squeaking. <laughs> So basically what I did is that I put in some like um, baby powder inside of the shoe, which is something I've read somewhere that you could try doing. And then I've put in a like a gel heel cap inside of the shoe as well, because that's sort of like where the squeaking, the main squeaking came from, um, because there's a lot of like friction here from my heel. So there's just like a gel cap in here on the inside of the shoe. And then I have sprinkled it with baby powder and that seems to have done the trick. <laughs> Just quickly wanted to share that with you guys. Um, got so many like messages from you guys telling me to share it if I found a solution for it because obviously or apparently it's something that many of you guys suffer from as well with shoes as you have. Um, so there you have it. Quick little squeaky shoe tip. Go back a step here so you can see the full outfit. Love this casual meets feminine kind of look and it's a beautiful sunny day today, very warm. So yeah, I think this is a perfect outfit. So I am gonna be ending this week in outfits here because I edited this video um, on Wednesday. I can see that's already getting a bit long. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you lots of outfit inspiration. 
And yeah, it was nice to put this together for you once more. I hope to do way more of these when I'm back from maternity leave. But if you are in need of more outfit inspiration, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for daily outfit updates. Um, and then that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it as always. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.